If you've seen or read any head modeling tutorials, you've probably heard about edge loops. How clean, well-designed edge loops are important for animation, how they mirror the, the structure of the, the muscles of the human face, just how important they are. But I had a terrible time modeling heads in 3D and fighting to keep my head loops clean. It was just hard for me to think in 3D and be mindful of edge loops. So I'm going over the process I use to make sure I've got good edge loops every time. Um, I've got to give credit to Timothy Alby for this. He showed this in his Lightwave 8 book um, some years ago. But I haven't seen it anywhere else. So uh, it's the way I do it, and it's helped me, and hopefully it'll help you. Um, as you can see, I use reference images. If I don't have those, I'm lost. Um, I start with the front view, and the trick to this whole thing, as you can see, is to draw the edge loops out in 2D first. Get them just the way you want them, and then pull the face out into 3D. So I begin with a plane, uh, subdivide it, delete half, mirror it, and I begin around the lips and build the edge loops row by row, um, extruding and filling the faces as I go. If you deselect all the points and then use control left mouse click, you can create a point and then once you create a point you select three other points and hit F and create a face. Um, also another trick here that I use is to use alt right mouse button and select a loop and then hit E and extrude the whole thing around as I just did there. So you can kind of begin seeing the loop mask, as I call it. Um, you can kind of see it developing here. And you see how the loops are flowing around the, the mouth. And now I'm going to work on the loops around the eyes. And I'm not worrying about the three-dimensional features of the face at this point, just the edge loops. The rest will come in time. So this is just a, a 2D representation as to how the edge loops will flow. And here's pretty much the completed loop mask. Now we go to the side view. And from the side view, I just begin pulling points out to match the profile of the character, beginning with that center row of, of points. The trick here is just to try and move the points forward and backwards only along the y-axis. Don't move them in the x-axis. Um, if you can just move them in the y-axis, your edge loops will hold their form a lot better. Now moving out from the center line, I select a point in the front view and then drag it in the side view to where it needs to be. You really can't select points in the side view at this time because they're all kind of um, on top of each other. Um, 
in that flat plane. And there you have the, the basis of the character there. And from here, it's just a matter of extruding the forehead up and back to match your image, as well as the chin and the neck. The great thing about this, once you're to this point, is that it's really easy to add extra loops. If you need more uh, uh, density in certain places, just use Control R and place the loops where you want them. Or now that you have the shape you want, you can optimize the mesh by removing edge loops too. So to me, this is the fun part, I think, once you get, once you begin to see the character. Um, I like this. So try drawing your edge loops in 2D and then pulling the face out into 3D. You get nice edge loops every time. And let me show you the finished product of this. Here we go. As you can see, I've just added extra edge loops to build up, up the face. And there you go.